This is Twit. All right, on to our next email, uh, which comes from the enig enigmatic H, who H. writes in and sa <sighs> says, uh, who, um, who, this might be from Burke, by the way, but um, no, it's not. I'm just kidding. Um, so H says, I recently upgraded to Android 12 on my Pixel 3a. Before the upgrade, my toddler used to press buttons on the lock screen and didn't cause any problems. With the upgrade, it seems like there's a new emergency button, the bold red button, to make an immediate call to 911 with ha without having to explicitly dial 911. For the past couple of days, he has managed to call 911 multiple times. Oh. <laughs> As father of two toddlers, I can I relate to this. Yeah, yeah, uh, we all do, yeah. <laughs> so, so H says, I can't find a way to remove this feature or change the lock screen in any meaningful way, disabling lock screen removes all biometric auth features. I'm so frustrated with this and the other unnecessary UI changes by Google, like not having a transparent clock widget that I'm thinking of switching to an iPhone for the first time in my no, life. No, no, don't do it. Is there a way I can still remain an Android faithful or should I make the leap to iOS? Well, first off, to answer your question, H, don't make the leap to iOS. You think it's better over there? Come on. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's I, I think there's That's, probably an emergency call button on the lock screen of, of the iOS is, devices as yeah. well. So, you know, you're not going to get around that. That says... It wasn't me, by the way. This is not a... So, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. I just did it. H, by the way, my friend. And it, it's not that... I mean, I see how a toddler did it, but it is not... So, if you do, if you do your lock screen, right? So, if, you, if you're on your phone... And you go to unlock it and you get the keypad, which I assume the kid is doing. Down here at the bottom, it says emergency call. So swipe up. Yeah, Jason, hit emergency call. It's not going to do it. Don't worry. And then it gives you this screen where you then have to grab the red button and slide it all the way over to the right. Now, admittedly, it does look like a game. And, I, and I'm not questioning you, H. I'm sure your kid has called 911 several times. But it's not just a, one button to dial 911 like there's a couple of steps there um but i, I yeah i don't know i i <laughs> it's like, i mean i understand the frustration i mean you know yeah. kids kids are really good on on phones you know when they're young of, of just hitting until they see things that's a kind of a flashy button easy for them to hit it and you know the, it, as they get older they get they get more adept at interacting with the things that are colorful on the screen and so seeing I can totally a big, see how it happens and seeing a big red button and and once you see yeah. the motion you want to see it go so right. yeah i get right, that totally but, like i'm scared to do it but yeah moving it you see it move and yeah i wonder I if there's that. a way yeah. to turn that off though i looked you in know? the settings and i could not find i could not find a way to turn it off um Fascinating. there may have been in a previous cool. version but i think with android 12 I, I don't think that there's a way to remove that in fact yeah. there are now features in android 12 that you can activate with the personal safety app that that make it so that if you tap your power button five times rapidly it automatically calls emergency services immediately it's like a, yep, yep. You know, an, an emergency toggle which could pose another problem so <laughs> you know what i mean because Kids also do that. They get the things and they press the button multiple times because they don't really, they, they're just playing, interacting with an object, you know? Yeah. They don't really know. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you on that. And I, I, I don't think that moving to iOS is necessarily going to make that easier because I think iOS has it as well. well you know, they, I, have an, I have an iOS device. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so we can look at this. We can real-time test it that if there is a... Do you have I don't a even know how to use it. In that, do you have a SIM in that yeah, phone? Yeah, there's right a SIM now? in it. Yeah, it's on Verizon, oh, okay. right? Okay. So, I mean, I guess it's just like if if a kid was to wake up the display and not unlock it, but wake up the display, is there something right, that's going to yeah. take that kid? I I right don't to get a key. Call? I don't get a keypad or anything. Oh, I press home to unlock, and it's just using fingerprint, and so it just doesn't, you know. So it yeah, doesn't give me. I don't know, I don't know enough about this stuff. This isn't my phone, so I don't know what's going on. But for this very reason, but, um, but still, I mean, you're yeah. you're kind of like a kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Getting exactly. To the, the front of screen of the device. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was just kind of assuming that it would have it, but there you go. Jason, yeah. doesn't, doesn't um, if you have it set to finger unlock, a fingerprint unlock, doesn't it have to go through that first before it even tries to bring up the keypad? No, the, there's a button under uh, on iOS or on, on Android. Android. There's a button under the keypad unlock that says emergency call, and that's what's triggering it. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I can show it again. So this is just your regular. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I did it. I, I was able there to do it. Go. So I've got touch ID or enter passcode and there's an emergency button. 
and I press emergency and then it gives you a dial pad. It's hard to see, but uh, it's all white. Yeah, but, it's, uh, it's, it's all white. It, whatever. It's giving me a uh, a dial pad where I can type numbers and then a green button to hit dial. Nine. So you'd have to do 911 and hit dial. So it is a oh, lot easier see, to call 911 on Android than it is on iOS. Which, I mean, depending on the scenario is, is a good thing yeah. or a bad thing, right? It's a good thing yep. if what you need is 911 right away without, you know, muss or fuss. And it's a bad thing yep. if you have a kid that's smart. <laughs> Right. Exactly. Exactly. Well, well I or did intuitive. hear people calling like the sheriff reporting uh, that the internet was out today in Marin. So, you know, maybe that's a thing. Oh, you know, with Android. Maybe. Oh, no. Know. The internet's yeah. out. Police. <laughs> Get my internet working again. Um, yeah. So I don't know that we have a, uh, a good answer for you, H. Um, but we're yeah. pleading with you. Don't, don't, don't go. Don't make this don't the There's reason so much... that, that you jump ship. Yeah, this isn't the reason. Yeah, but I do although, know. Although is, I totally it is, get it, it is tempting to give the kid the phone and play with it. Just play with it. It's like you can't, you can't do yeah. anything. And clearly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I mean, and and it's it probably reinforces itself every time the kid gets it, and then yep. face because you're reacting to it, and like you're you're it's going, like, oh, oh, don't do that. Yeah, exa yeah. exactly. Last, last yeah, time I did yeah. this, I slid this yeah. over, and it made a loud noise. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, H, I can't. I can't. What do you do? I what can't argue. Then? I can't argue the issue. I, you don't give the kid the phone. That's the that's the thing. I mean, we, I went through a bad phase with my daughter, um, who discovered uh, Instagram filters, um, and ah. there was a, there's an Instagram <laughs> filter that turns your head into a lemon, or a, or a, a, a Yemen, as she says, because she doesn't pronounce yeah. L's. So, she, so yeah, and and literally it was weeks where like every morning she's like, "Where's your phone, Yemen?" Yemen? Can I see Yemen? Yemen? And it's just like, and it got so, oh. and I'm sitting there for 30 minutes with her. And like, it's cute the first time she does it where she starts giggling and stuff like that. But then it's like, when you have to get dressed and you have to move on with the day and you want to stop doing it and the kid doesn't yeah, want and to. they're upset. You know, so, they're obsessed. So, so, yeah. So like, I just had to stop bringing my phone out in the mornings and she's like, where's your phone? I'm like, oh, I don't have it. You know, and like, and just, and like, right. that's the challenge. I mean, my son when I take my phone out at bedtime, he like knocks it out of my hand. So it's like, so they, yeah, they're, yeah. uh, they're figuring it out. But yeah, I think, I think H the, 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 the challenge is on you and is to not give the kid the phone. Unfortunately, I think that's the answer. Yeah. Here. Or so. yeah. I mean, maybe the bigger challenge, depending on how big the kid yeah. is, um, how old the kid is, is, or where you put the phone, making it so that yeah. they can't intercept it anyways, because that happens too when you're a parent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but, 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 hey, but, but, but ultimately, you're you're waiting to get to the point to where the kid is old enough to understand to not do that. And it sounds like well, the kid was, is not quite there yet. And that will happen. It was it was funny because, it, because and so H, I just want to sympathize with you. Like I have two almost three-year-olds, you know, like, so this year has definitely been challenging with toddlers. So I, I definitely feel for you. Um, a friend of mine who has a kid in college and another kid in high school, I think I was asking some parenting advice and he gave me some great parenting advice, um, which he said, he, he said, Oh, I know your problem. He's like, you just need your kids to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, right. You're right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you are right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm crossing my fingers and I'm counting the days. And they, they <laughs> Short term pain. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Yep. And so. you know what? That that <laughs> advice never seems to to get old. I mean, yep. at, at any stage of a kid's development, it's always like, oh, we, I just need them to be a little bit older. You, yeah, yeah. Just, you just need you to grow up. You just grow yeah. up. I just so. need you, you just grow up. Thank you. Work on that. Yeah.